What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing something that I just got in the mail. I'm really excited about it. Influencer sent it to me. Thank you so much to them for sending it to me for free. Um, so today I am talking about the Laura Mercier Caviar Eyeshadow Sticks. I am very excited to give them a try. So inside of my little package, ooh, package there are going to be three different sticks. I already opened them as you can see um, along with this little um, postcard. So we're going to go ahead and open all of these up and just take them out. Um, so this first shade is going to be the shade Raspberry. Um, so it just looks like a little pen like this. Let me pull off the cap and it rolls up. And so here we have raspberry. They're very oily feeling. Um, this is raspberry. It looks really pretty on camera. On my hand, I don't know. It looks um, a little patchy, so we'll see. This next one is going to be plum. So this is a deeper purple shade. Oh, wow. And this one is very opaque, where the other one was more shimmery, this one is not. Um, so it's very dark, it's just like a dark purple. And then this is our last shade, this is Nude Rose. And so this is the trio that I got. <gasps> no, okay, everything is Fine, and we're just gonna shove that back in there, pretend it didn't just fall out and get stuck in the cap. Ooh, I, of course, this is my favorite one. I love that one. It's like a coppery, and this one is called Nude Rose. I thought we could give these three a try and um, maybe try and do something fun with them since they are like a little stick and not a powder or a pan. So let's go ahead and just try and see how these even perform on our eyes. With these three shadows, I think all you really can do is like a smoky eye if you want to use all three. So we're going to start with the deepest color plum and we're going to do that in the outer V of our eyes out here. And then we're going to use a brush to try and blend it to tap it in. So we'll just see what happens. Because it is really dark. So you could honestly use this as a liner too if you were able to um, if you were able to draw thinly enough. Alright, so very opaque. You could just draw on your eye and it could work as a shadow, but I'm gonna try to blend it out and see what happens. It might look like I have a black eye or something, I don't know. So it blends out pretty easy. And when you blend it, it does lose a little bit of the opacity, but not too much. Like it still is really dark. And I think it still looks good. There's a little bit, um, hard to blend the seam out um, with a brush and it kind of got patchy. I don't know if y'all can see that. It kind of dries at some point on your eye and gets a little tuggy. All right, let's do, um, let's go raspberry. And we'll try that in the center and just see what happens. So I'm doing this over here and then I'm going to put the other one in the inner corner. So we're just going to blend this like that. I feel like when I first put it on, it just looks like I'm a child, like playing with makeup they have no business playing with. <laughs> All right. Just buff this out and blend this in oh wow so this one when you blend it it really shears out a bit 
And this does not blend very well together. Which I don't know if it's just what I've done here or um, if it just is like that. We're going to go back in with plum and kind of try and deepen that up. All right, let's go back in with raspberry and try again to build up this color a bit here in the center because we're going to put the other one on the inner corner. And I'm just going to kind of pat and pull this. I think at this rate, patting is better than spreading. Now we're going to take, uh, what color was this? Nude Rose. And we're going to put that right here. In the inner corner. And we're just going to kind of blend this up. This stuff really does kind of dry wherever you put it. I didn't read online how you're actually supposed to use it. I just kind of went for it. Okay, now let's try the bottom lash line with this. Just, just to see, right? Why not? I'm gonna Ooh. probably a bad idea. So I did plum and then I'm gonna do raspberry for the rest of it. Alright, let's blend out the lighter one first and then blend out the darker. <laughs> All right, let's try this other eye with primer on. I'm gonna use some Fenty Beauty concealer just on my eyelid. All right, let's start the process over again. So we're not going to set the concealer, we're just gonna leave it wet and we're gonna start adding it in. So now let's go ahead and draw the plum on. Yeah, I would not use primer. Well, if you use primer, don't use concealer as primer. Use an actual primer. Because, do you see how that's changed the color completely? <laughs> okay, let's go back in with raspberry and let's do all of this and see what happens. Because it is, like, uh, really freaking dark. I also feel like this is getting concealer all over the little sticks themselves and diluting the color. Wow, this one looks like a clown did it. <laughs> Blend raspberry in. I think uh, the concealer was a bad idea. Why do you ask? <laughs> well, just look at my eye. All right, we're gonna go in with Nude Rose. Bring that up a bit. I did not see this coming. Well, the underneath of my eye is gonna look really good because there's no concealer down there. Wow. Okay. What? <laughs> what did we learn today? Literally don't ever do that. Why would I have thought that was a good idea? I don't know. Oh my God, I look like that meme of the little girl who looks like she just left a rave and her makeup is really, really terrible. Like an actual clown. <gasps> Okay, so this eye here, we did no primer, we did no concealer, and it looks like this. This eye, we did lay down concealer beforehand, and it looks like this. <sighs> Don't conceal your eyes beforehand. It was a very bad idea. I guess I'm going to go ahead and put on some uh, eyeliner and mascara, and I will be right back. Alright guys, well, that is 
the final look. So remember this eye does not have any concealer or primer underneath it and this eye I did put concealer underneath. I think there's a pretty noticeable difference, at least in my opinion, of the two. Um, with this one, I think the color just looks better because it's the actual color that the shadow was intended to be. Whereas with this one, it is um, pretty dull. I feel like maybe this side blended out better simply because um, it didn't dry down really because it's on top of a concealer so it, it's there's nothing there to really um, dry it out when you buffed it out whereas with this one when I buffed it out it kind of dried out and got a little patchy-ish um, if you can see I will say like if you look really closely like with creasing this one right here there's creasing already a lot um, and on this one there's creasing as well, but not as noticeable as the creasing on this eye is. This is a um, like a cream eyeshadow, so it's it's gonna do something whenever you're blinking your eyes naturally. Um, but putting the shadow on top of the concealer, it doesn't set the concealer, so the concealer creases, then your eyeshadow creases. Um, however, with this one, I can still see like veins and freckles and things underneath the shadow where with this one I cannot I can just see the very visible creasing so it's really hard to know uh which way is the better way to go about this I don't know what do you guys think um I like it I just don't know how often I would wear this just because it is a little trickier to use so they do dry down um it just takes some time for them to do so so i guess if you can just uh get this to dry down before you really do anything crazy with your eyes then you're more likely to have success without the creasing let me know in the comments below what y'all thought of this product i did like it but like i said it's not something i'm probably going to be reaching to super super often it is a little difficult to blend it does crease and you certainly shouldn't put anything underneath it. Um, thank you again so much to Influencer for sending this to me and for Laura Mercier allowing them to send this to me. I super, super appreciate it. And I love to review these kinds of things for you guys. So please give this video a thumbs up so I can continue doing this. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel down below. I put out new videos almost every week. Thank you guys for watching. Happy quarantining and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, also this is how I've been cleaning my brushes. <laughs> oh, these aren't bruises, it's eyeshadow. Bye guys. <laughs>